All you need for these movements is just a mat or anything you've got handy that's comfortable for you to sit on. This exercise is a touch of genius, brilliant for the backs of those thighs. Bring one foot into the middle. Interlock your hands underneath the other foot. Now, you'll be very, very careful with this one. Gradually, you'll be able to interlock the hands under the foot and stretch the leg out. But in the beginning, none of us can manage that. At least very few of us can. You could be the exception. So you can either have your hands here or here or even just below the knee. The main thing is the knee must be straight eventually. And eventually, it would be wonderful when you can clasp that foot but you get tremendous benefit from the exercise even in the early stage you then take a lovely deep breath in and with your back straight you draw the knee towards that chin now you can feel that wonderful stretch this is the one you feel that movement you feel the backs of the thighs stretch out you release it very gently, let it go, and then rub the area towards your heart to stimulate those muscles, to stimulate your blood circulation, wipe off the cellulite. Now, bring that foot in, interlock your hands underneath the other foot, sit nice and straight, and remember, adjust them with your hands according to your own ability. Stretch the leg out gently now, then very gently, draw the knee, in towards the chin, stretching that leg up and feel that beautiful stretch. Draw the leg back in again and once more rub the back of the thigh gently to really help stimulate the circulation to this very difficult area. Off we go again. Bring one foot into the middle, interlock your hands under the other foot, sit nice and straight. Now your flexibility will increase very quickly in this movement. So stretch it out again according to your own ability, never ever strain, remember. Inhale and then draw the chin towards the knee. Now one day the knee will even make it to the ear. Then you'll be able to see your whole television program while you do it. Draw the leg back in, rub the back of that thigh and relax. Bring that foot in, interlock your hands under the other foot. Inhale, stretch the leg out, drawing the knee to the chin, and then gently in towards the ear. Bend that knee again, relax, rub the back of that thigh. Ah, you did well, very, very well. Now a beautiful stretch for those inner thighs. Place both feet into the middle and interlock your hands around those toes, sitting up nice and straight. Take a lovely deep breath in, and then very gently with your back straight, draw those knees down towards the floor. Now, don't you worry if they don't get very far to begin with. The stretch is the valuable thing. You'll get benefit no matter how far you go in the movement, and gradually the inner thigh muscle will stretch out. All this muscle will firm and tone beautifully. The hips will become flexible. Draw the knees up again and relax. Inhale again, exhale and take those knees down and you'll find you can get a little bit further already, but take it gently now. Draw the knees up again and relax. And just once more, breathe in, breathe out. Take those knees gently down there. Feel that wonderful stretch and let them come up. Great for the inner thighs and for the flexibility of your hips. Shake the legs around now and just loosen them up a bit. Back to those inner thighs again. The sideways stretch is just great for those inner thighs and also really helps get rid of the cellulite from the upper thigh area here. You place the hand on the floor in front of you and then breathe in. As you exhale, you lift the upper leg. Now, when you first start, frequently, due to stiffness in the hips, it's difficult to get it up very far. Don't panic, it doesn't matter a scrap, but gradually the leg will come up further until you're able to clasp the calf and draw the knee towards the ear. Never ever strain, remember. The flexibility will come in as you practice, but you will get the benefit of the movement even in the very earlier stages. You'll feel all this area here smoothing out and stretching out, which is just what you want and you lower the leg down. Now, sometimes when you start this movement, due to a bit of stiffness in the hip area, it becomes quite difficult to lift the leg very well. So you can draw the knee in and then open the hip joint out like this and then gradually draw the leg up again. That really helps get rid of the stiffness and gradually you'll get your flexibility back. So we'll just try once more with that movement. Breathe in, breathe out now and lift that leg, draw the knee in towards the ear, and slowly lower it. 
The other thing about that movement is it gives you a real spring in the step. I often notice people walk a lot better once they've practiced that movement a lot. More lilt, more youth. Turn over on the other side now and we'll have your body in a nice straight line again and repeat the movement. Now, just feel that body stretching out. Make sure you're comfortable, the legs are nice and straight. Take another lovely deep breath in. Lift the leg, again, draw it in just as far as you can, no strain towards the ear, and slowly lower it. Inhale again, draw it in as you exhale, and up gently towards that ear, don't strain, and lower it gently. Wonderful for the inner thighs, wonderful for the hips. You'll be pleased about that one. Now the hydrant exercise. This one is excellent for the stubborn patches here that just seem almost resistant to exercise. This one fixes it for you. Place the hands on the floor in a kneeling position. Have the knees about 12 inches apart, the hands about 12 inches apart. Look forwards with the head up and breathe in. Place the right leg out at the side. Now wind it round three times forwards. Nice and gently, wind it back again and relax. We'll try to the other side now. Place the left leg out and off we go again. One, two and three and back again. One, two and three. Now gently lower your bottom to your heels and relax. Now that movement, although it looks quite simple, is actually quite a strong one. So increase it gently. Start with just three rotations and three rotations back. Increase gradually until you're doing 12 forwards and 12 back and gradually you'll see the results. The locust exercise now is to really lift and firm the bottom and trim down the backs of those thighs. To do the movement, I'm going to lie on my stomach with my hands comfortably by my sides and my chin on the floor. Lift one leg gently, lower it and lift the other leg. Just have a look at this. Now slowly lift that leg, gently lower and relax. Lift the other one now, lower and relax. Now again, lower and relax. Lift again now and relax. That's really well worth it. It's really marvellous firming the bottom in that way. And now the second stage of the movement, which is just total genius. I've seen this actually transform a baggy bottom into a beautiful peach. Now this movement, I'm going to lie on my stomach again with my chin on the floor, take a lovely deep breath. As I exhale, I'm going to lift both legs in the air together. This is also excellent for strengthening the lower spine. And if you have problems sleeping any night, try doing three of these before you go to bed. You'll wake up with a firm bottom after a brilliant night's sleep. Try this. Have the chin on the floor. Inhale. Now exhale and lift those legs. And slowly lower them. Inhale, exhale and lift and slowly lower them. I'm now going to stretch the bottom to the heels, place the forehead on the floor to re-stretch that back out. And come up again. Mm -hmm.